Hi and welcome to uh, 5 minutes about ADHD and autism. Today I will uh, I will spend my time on uh, on the marriage or the family life when it is suffering because my experience was that uh, we were pretty good to be parents to our child with uh, with ADHD and autism. Uh, everything was um, every day was planned by pictograms and uh, uh, stopwatches and um, plans to everything, how to dre get dressed and all of it was planned. Um, we're pretty good at it, but we somehow it became a work, it became a work to be a family. And um, uh, it was it was a hard work. We had uh, at that time two kids and um, and they couldn't be in the same room uh, and definitely not alone in the same room. Because they were fighting, and um, the one of them was actually trying, could actually be trying to kill the other one, not on purpose, just because he he couldn't take his noise or he couldn't um, react in any social matter. Who should be good like brothers? But it was it was tough. So what we did, my husband and me, was that we um, kind of uh, forced each other to stay home every day, every hour, every possible hour. Of course, we had our jobs. But when the two kids were home, we somehow forced each other to be home too, so that he could take the, the one of the boys and I could take the other one. And um, we, we didn't talk about it. We just did it. Um, if some of us had to go to a meeting or something, the other one was suffering, and we knew it, because he had to, well, I had to, if it was me, to... Um, uh, put the one boy there and make him something to do and take care of the other boy, boy over there and make something uh, give him something to do and then start over and even though that they were in the same room but in each end of the room they could start a fight and throw things and um, all that it was a it was a really hard work and we um after uh, i think several years about um on this way we we stopped and we thought, well, this is not a marriage. We are, we are, k slowly killing uh, ourselves and each other in this marriage, and we we had to we had to go out. We had to uh, meet some social. Uh, we had to be in social relations too, and then we um, kind of uh, gave up. And you say, okay, you can go three days, and I can go three days, and then then uh, the other one just had to make the hard work at home and so we did and we thought that we now now we did that taking care of the marriage because now we were setting each other free um, and uh, somehow it, it, it helped a little bit but there was still no marriage now we had to choose about getting free in the world or getting prisoned in our home I remember came uh, coming home from job and sitting in my car and looking at my house and say Oh, could I just take an hour or two more? Oh my God, uh, I don't want to come home because it was so hard. After some years, again, we 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 realized that we didn't talk to each other anymore. Well, we did, but it was about who is uh, who is buying bread and um, who is uh, driving to sports and who is. Uh, it was all practical things. It was still like a job uh, to be in this family, and um, and actually we we came so far that we didn't want to sleep together, my husband and me, because it, when we could talk together and we couldn't do things together, then then it seems awkward to sleep together. So we um, we we stayed in the same house but uh, in different rooms, and still we were not fighting. We were just <sighs> working colleagues. And um, it was first when when uh, our priest actually he um, he found out how it was in our home and he said now you had to talk together now you had to learn to talk together again and um, and he he and his uh, wife teach us how to to not um, and to be in the conversation we we actually did forget it um, and and uh, and by these conversations these new ways of 
of uh, when I was saying, I'm sorry that I am the only one who takes dishwashers in this house. Then my husband wasn't allowed to say, what? But I'm the vacuum cleaner. He had to um, be in my pain and say, okay, I hear you're sorry. Um, I think you might be angry too. And um, and then we had a little, a little ping pong just about my feelings. And he was not allowed to put his, his feelings in it. Actually, this way of conversations, we, we put them on the <laughs> every week, every Wednesday. We put it on the, the calendar um, marriage talk, and, uh, and it helped us so much. Now it's many years ago, and we have just been married for 25 years. So it, it can be done, but it had to be almost on the wall, on the plan, with all the pictograms and all what you got there. Then you had to put a high priority about your marriage and your family life. Because I have tried the other way and it definitely wasn't a good way to go.